Away from labor and its problems, the AG is worried about la and he's lamenting over slow court processes and that demands cooperation from judiciary. A total of 119 criminal cases involving the prosecution of about 797 individuals for offenses connected with illegal mining in the country have been pending at the High Court and some circuit courts around the country since January 2022. My colleague, Blessed Sogan, joins us live with more. Blessed, which regions and where are these cases? Blessed, kindly unmute. Well, if you can hear me, uh, Aisha, I was just indicating earlier that um, the Eastern region, for instance, is uh, one of the leading areas where uh, there are pending cases, for instance, in Kufuridja. The Attorney General uh, talks about uh, as many as 50 cases that are pending in that part of the country. Then we come to, for instance, uh, the Western region, which has about 33 cases uh, which are currently being prosecuted uh, in the likes of uh, areas such as Takwa and Second D. Uh, and following or coming after the Western region is the Ashanti region, which has a total number of uh, 23 cases that are also pending in that part of the country. But uh, for the Upper East and Northern parts, they are sharing three and one respectively, where the cases are being held uh, in Tamale and Borga. Uh, but there's also the, uh, of course, Upper East region, uh, which has some seven cases also being held. So in all, it appears that the Attorney General is pointing to over 100 cases uh, that are still pending, a reason for which he is raising some concerns about the slow nature of the court processes uh, and is demanding some sort of cooperation from the judiciary as well if we are to win this fight against the legal mind. The, the, the AG um, indicates why the delays? Well, he's been giving a breakdown of uh, the cases and a side that has been pointing to uh, some strange activities in his view, which is taking place uh, within the judiciary. First of all, his concern has got to do about with uh, how slow the pace of prosecution is. Then beyond that as well, normally you know that when someone is found culpable of engaging in illegal mining, they are still entitled to uh, their bill conditions. Uh, he argues that these individuals or corporates or the accused persons, once they meet the bill conditions, find a way of leaving or sneaking out of the country. In his view, these are some of the issues that are affecting uh, his fight against the illegal mining, a reason for which there'll be a need uh, for the judiciary to cooperate uh, with his side uh, to effectively tackle what's happening. Mm. So the AG is actually urging the judiciary to... Um swiftly deal with these uh, cases. Any timelines? No fixed timelines, except to say that uh, he's pointed out to some uh, new regulations and laws that, for instance, the president has given uh, further boost to, uh, which he believes will, will be a game changer in the fight against illegal mining. Beyond that as well, he's asking for some sort of multi-stakeholder approach that will coordinate the effort so you don't have the AG going out alone to prosecute these individuals, but we have all state institutions coming together so that we effectively tackle the menace that we have facing. Let us go on with uh, the details of the AG's call for judiciary to speed up cases involving illegal mining.